Good evening, it's Secunder Scott Von Helt from HolisticMusician.com here with today's bowl of sake by Hazra Anayat Khan for May the 3rd. No man should allow his mind to be a vehicle for others to use. He who does not direct his own mind lacks mastery. No man should allow his mind to be a vehicle for others to use. He who does not direct his own mind lacks mastery. So this is a really, uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward uh, bowl of sake today. But, um, you know, a lot of times we allow people to you know, allow our mind to be a vehicle for other people to use by just the mere suggestion um, of something that they might put out there. Um, someone might have a certain opinion. Uh, internet trolling, that's a great uh, example. You know, somebody might, uh, you know, I know as a musician, you work really hard to hone your craft. You work really hard to put something out there. You stick it out there and you're waiting for a reaction. And you might get some really great reactions, but it's that one or two negative reactions or that, that one jerk that's just got to say something really, uh, really mean and degrading about what you put so much time and effort into. And, um, you know, that can get under your skin and it can change your mindset. It can change the way you look at your, your art and yourself and it can make you really uh, kind of self-conscious and all these other things and then start second guessing what you've done and things like that and no point in that. Uh, be your own person, be your own self and, and uh, never let another person's suggestion or idea or um, you know even opinion have an effect on you. You know, value their opinion as their own opinion, respect it, and walk away from it if it's not what you want. Um, so that's one thing that comes to mind with this. No man should allow himself, his mind, to be a vehicle for others to use. And then the second half of that, he who does not direct his own mind lacks mastery. So it takes mastery um, of the mind, of the will, of the spirit to be able to really put um, your focus completely on uh, your goals, your aims, and things like that. And when you do that, uh, you master the mind. And, um, you know, one practice that comes to mind, this is something I learned years ago when I first started studying uh, Shaolin Kung Fu. And uh, it's something that uh, later kind of jumped back up when I started getting into Sufi trainings. Um, you find an item to focus on. And maybe it's a, uh, a flower, uh, could be a flame. In martial arts, we did a flame. In Sufism, we do a flower. Same kind of concept. But you you hold that vision of that that thing in your mind you watch it you stare at it you look at it you stay focused on it and intent on it and just before you get to that feeling where I can no longer keep my attention on this I feel my attentions fading and you start to see your mind drift hold it for that second longer and the more you do this practice the more you'll see that you're holding the concentration on that item for a lot longer after a while, you can do it without even having that item physically there. You could just have the thought of staring at that flame, and you can visualize that flame because you've, you've put your attention on it for a long time. And then you can focus on just the thought of that flame for the longest time. Um, and this helps build mastery. It helps just, you know, really you're focusing your will with um, a higher, you're, using, you're channeling something higher. You're hand, channeling really a divine will because you're, superseding your own thought patterns to really focus on something and go beyond your own limitations. So this is something to really take a look at. No man should allow his mind to be a vehicle for others to use. He who does not direct his own mind lacks mastery. That's it. We'll be back again tomorrow with another. Thanks.